let me start the recording okay so uh, our course is uh, CAC 429 uh, digital system design this is basically a hardware based course a hardware not in the sense of like microprocessors or other things like that uh, not that complex piece of hardware. Uh, this is more like those uh, courses like DLD you have already completed um, DLD courses I hope so uh, the, uh, this is more like uh, those sort of courses where we will be discussing a lot of boolean algebras and logics uh, rather than designing uh, complex hardware like that okay so we'll be designing some digital systems uh, we will uh, go from bottom to up to build a full computer and uh, first we will be build the our approach will be from bottom to up to build a, a full-fledged computer a full-fledged computer in a sense that uh, it can perform almost all operations that we usually need and uh, to do this we'll start from alu um, i think all of you have uh, because it, this is prerequisite all of you have already completed microprocessor course so uh, you have the basic idea of uh, how a microprocessor works and uh, how we can connect uh, or interface with other devices with microprocessors. So I hope you have already seen that uh, ALU is an integral part of a microprocessor. So uh, we will be start. We will start from ALU and uh, how we can design an ALU and perform basic operations with that. So after that we will move on from there we will uh, design some circuits that can perform addition subtraction we will make uh, an accumulator accumulator is nothing but a simple resistor that can perform certain operations like that then from there on uh, we will uh, do uh, some other things like addition and multiplication circuits that can perform uh, addition multiplication subtraction in the uh, hardware directly not in our uh, usual software ways which are actually slower and uh, multi actually hardware based uh, solutions are always faster the problem is actually is uh, that if you want to add hardware for every piece of uh, thing you want to do uh, the whole computer will be a lot bulkier but because we need to perform addition subtraction or multiplication a lot of times we actually use special hardware for this okay so from that there on we will move on to sap1 sap2 sap3 which is actually already you have already seen um, sap1 hopefully simple as possible computer uh, one is sap1 is actually the very very simplest model of a computer we will move on from there sap we will start from sap1 then sap2 sap3 sap2 and sap3 are a little more complex sap3 is more like almost 8086 kind of processor so uh, and finally we will discuss some parts of keyboard and uh, leds seven segment display interfacing out. okay so um the basic goal of this course is to make sure we can design a full computer um, in a logical sense not really in a hardware based sense but you can understand which part are doing what and how the full operation works uh, that's our main goal so to make a full computer we will need to start from different components like ALU, accumulator, um, the control logic. These parts are uh, the basic building blocks. So we will start from there and go up and up. Okay. And uh, throughout this course, if you have any questions anytime, please interrupt me and ask the question. Uh, I'll be very happy to answer your questions. And let's go through the syllabus a bit so for midterm uh, we'll start from alu uh, 
then move on to shifter. Shifter will take maybe one plus. Uh, shifter is nothing, just a register that can shift the bits from left to right or right to left. So that's all. Then accumulator. Accumulator, we have already talked about the accumulator. Accumulator is actually a simple register that can perform certain operations and also can store the values. Unlike ALU, ALU is actually which can ALU is a component which can perform basic arithmetic and logical operations, but it cannot store values. Okay, it will only perform the operations and give the output. Uh, it doesn't store values, um, but accumulator stores values and can perform operation on those values actually. Okay, we will go into details about these throughout the course, but. Sir, uh, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, sir. Uh, accumulator, uh, okay. accumulator is actually very simple. A simple register that can perform also some other operations like uh, simple shifting, complementing, right shift, left shift, rotate. Let's say uh, you have a four bit number A, and we can store that value as well, and we can left shift the value, right shift the value, or rotate the value, or let's say complement the value. So these operations can be performed and also this value, the resultant value can also be stored. This is a, actually the basic equipment. Thank you, sir. Okay. So um, then we will move on to control logic. Control logic is uh, some simple circuits that can perform a very basic operation. So like addition or multiplication. So uh, we will discuss our two control logic circuits. Uh, the first one is adder subtractor, which can perform uh, either addition or subtraction, both. And uh, this is actually why we need an addition or subtraction when we can already use ALU. Because sometimes uh, you don't want to uh, put the whole pressure on ALU, we, we want maybe the addition or subtraction to be faster, more efficient, uh, on, designed only for addition. If we design for only one purpose, we can customize it so that we can make sure that this one is very much simpler and faster. But ALU has different purposes. Uh, it needs to perform arithmetic operations, add, subtract, uh, or uh, like increment, decrement, um, or uh, logical operations. But adder subtractor circuit doesn't need to perform those operations. It only needs to perform addition and subtraction. So because of this, we will be specially customizing our circuit for addition and subtraction that makes it a lot um, easier uh, to add or subtract and also a lot we can uh, improve the algorithm so that it is a lot faster okay then we will move on to multiplier multiplier is the same as addition subtraction we will uh, make a special hardware that can multiply to let's say four bit numbers and uh, get the resultant output also uh, we will be then discussing how can we improve the multiplication process so that we can we need to perform less and less operations. So we will move on to boot and modify boot. These are two algorithms actually, uh, multiplication algorithms that makes it easier to multiply two numbers in a simpler way and also in a uh, let's say in fast a lot faster way. So. A special hardware for multiplication that uh, is a lot faster than the usual software operations. So this will be the midterm syllabus, but uh, depending on how much we can cover, uh, maybe both and modified both can be moved on to the final. Okay, the first part will of course be uh, in the midterm syllabus, but both and modified both can be uh, shifted to the final syllabus. Okay. Then uh, we in the finals, uh, the basic things in the finals is, are SEP1, SEP2, and SEP3. And finally, after 
you've already gotten an idea of what SAP1 is. Sim similar to that, we will just improve on SAP1 to SAP2, and then we will make sure that we get uh, almost a very good computer with SAP3. SAP3 is, a, SAP3 is, let's say, upward compatible with 8086. Uh, almost, uh, you can perform almost all the operations that you can perform on 8086 on SAP3. Maybe in a, sometimes you have to maybe make it a little slower or make sure you have to have more instructions in SAP3, that's something like that. But SAP3 is a very, uh, let's say working computer. Okay. Finally, we will be discussing how we can interface keyboards and displays. Displays, uh, we will be actually discussing only about seven segment displays, how we can connect a seven segment display or keyboard to the microprocessor and how we can uh, use those seven segment displays or keyboards uh, to uh, to send the values or uh, get the values in from them. So this is the basic course syllabus. Um, and maybe we will change the order sometimes a bit here and there, but mostly this will be rigidly followed. And of course, uh, I'm saying that both, both and modified both can be moved on from midterm to finals. Uh, we will see. Uh, in the later part of the course. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions about course syllabus or up until anything? No, sir. Okay. So the class formats will be uh, user lectures and we'll per try to practice as much as possible some exercises as well because uh, some, some parts uh, there, uh, let's say for ALU, uh, we will discuss about one configuration in the class, and there can be many, com many, many possible com configurations. So, in the exams, there will be uh, different. Uh, maybe uh, you have, will need to design another ALU which will have a different configuration. So, we will try to let's say uh, make sure that you are prepared for this. That's why we will try to practice some new configurations in the class as well. But still, you will need to practice a lot more in the at home. Um, similar to say, this is actually the accumulator and a um, little bit control logic as well. So we will need to exercise a bit so that we can uh, get the idea right. So the reference books are very much um, already known to you. The first book that we'll, we'll be following for most part of the midterm syllabus, we will be following this book um, for uh, ALU, Accumulator, and Control Logic. Uh, all of these are from the book by Maurice Manuel, Digital Logic and Computer Design. Uh, I think all of you are already familiar with this book. Uh, maybe uh, you have already read this one in uh, DLD course. OK. So, uh, we will be discussing about these uh, different topics, uh, especially in the first part of the course uh, from this book. Then for SAP1, SAP2, and SAP3, uh, we will be discussing from the book by Melvina Brown, Digital Computer Electronics. Uh, I think the, you are also familiar with this one because uh, you've already uh, had SAP1 in the microprocessor course. So hopefully you are also familiar with this one. Uh, I will encourage you to go through both of these books, especially uh, when we will be discussing SEP1, SEP2, SEP3. Please go through the Melvina Brown book. This is very well written. And uh, I, I think you can just, if you just simply go through the this book, you can understand every part of it. And there are some pretty good example examples as well. So. You can also, uh, let's say, practice a bit uh, uh, and be prepared for the exams. Also, uh, the Melvina Brown uh, book, uh, Digital Computer Electronics, uh, I will be uh, providing this book uh, in 
uh, just PDFs in the LMS, uh, so no worries about that. Uh, but the uh, this book is actually uh, we will mainly follow this one for SEP one, SEP two, and SEP three, and uh, though we will cover mostly in the class most of the uh, examples and uh, codes we will cover in the class, but still, if you go through the book, there is a very well written chronology there, so hopefully you will understand it a bit more. And uh, the uh, Digital Logic and Computer Design book by Maurice Meno is also very well written. Uh, for ALU, Accumulator, and Control Logic, I encourage you to go through this one. Uh, hopefully, uh, you can uh, deep dive into the basic uh, understandings a bit more. Okay, so for the, for the final part, those keyboard and LED seven segment displays interfacing, we will just go through a bit uh, from Intel microprocessors, very vibre. Um, you will not be needing to read very much uh, of this book. Um, we will be just discussing a bit of uh, maybe a few uh, pages of from this book uh, about keyboard and uh, sensing display. Uh, interface. So these are three reference books. Especially go through the first and uh, second when, uh, when we will be reading those chapters. Please make sure to go to, go through these books. This will really help you. Okay. Okay. So the uh, Marx distribution is very much uh, as usual. Uh, we hope we can take the midterm examination. So. Uh, the attendance will be 5%, clusters 40%, and assignments 10, midterm 20, and final 25%. So in uh, we will try to take clusters as uh, regular as we can, so that um, in the end, maybe we don't uh, create much pressure. Uh, and also, um, another thing is, if we can take some extra clusters, I think it will benefit you. So just... Uh, Try to uh, don't just uh, uh, don't is advise me or uh, request me to put off the clusters from one week to the another because that will ultimately create serious pressure on you. Okay, and there will be two home assignments, and these two uh, will carry ten percent of the marks. I will provide one of the assignment on. Uh, before midterm, hopefully uh, a lot earlier than midterm, when we finish uh, the, uh, or maybe when we finish the control logic part, we will uh, maybe uh, then we will uh, need to submit the assignment, the first assignment. And the second assignment uh, will be before the final. Both of these assignments uh, will be mainly be design type you will need to design a certain component or something in a different way so uh, hopefully it will not be a very big problem for you okay, these are the mark distribution and now we move on to the topics that you need to brush up because uh, some of these topics are maybe you have all um, forgotten a bit because if the, you have read like two years ago or something like that. Uh, that's why uh, some you know, some of these drop topics can be a little obscured for you. So please go through the previous texts if you need or go just watch a video in the YouTube. Hopefully you will understand. So some very basic things are uh, like we will need to understand K-maps. Uh, we will uh, discuss a bit today. Uh, but you will need to understand basic k-maps, um, then basic Boolean algebra so that we can simplify the functions. Uh, we will be using a lot of Boolean algebra here because uh, we will need to simplify those functions that we can find from the truth tables, big functions. We will need to simplify those into simpler functions. So for that reason, we will use k-maps as well as function simplification with Boolean algebra. Then we will need to understand how flip-flops work, 
especially D flip flop and JK flip flop. Uh, we will use these two flip flops uh, a lot, especially in control logic and accumulator. So you will need to understand this as well. And finally, because ALU is basically an adder, so you will need to understand how a full adder works and how we can change it here and there so that we can get different results. Uh, okay, the adder circuit we will be discussing in the next class um, because uh, we will go to the start ALU from the next class. So we will discuss adder circuit first and then move on from there. So how we can use a simple a simple full adder uh, and make a big component, very important component like ALU. Okay, so these are the basic. Uh, things that you need to uh, brush up a bit. Um, I hope uh, you are already familiar with these things, uh, but I will go through today a little bit so that um, you have the basic idea. And if you still have any issues, please go through the previous texts or uh, YouTube videos or anything like that so that you can just have the basic idea of these things and um, you can, you just don't get dragged back because of you don't understand how KMAP works or function simplification works. Okay. So let's start with KMAP. So what is the KMAP? Can anyone help me out here? KMAP K Jinish. Sir, up need you cura then sir do you go to like for a nickel to move in. Yeah, uh we will discuss about came up in the throughout this class, but uh do any anyone have any idea? Okay, so came up um how can we construct a came up? This is the first step. How can we construct a came up? So let's say we have a function, okay? Uh, we have a function like um, a function that that a function of four variables a, b, c, d. Okay, so these are Boolean variables. That means a can hold two values, either zero or one. B can also hold either zero or one. So uh, these are Boolean variables. So they can be either zero or one and how many combinations there can be. Let's say A can be two values, uh, A can hold two values, B can hold two values, so C can hold two values, D can hold two values. So ultimately, we have two to the power four or 16 combinations of these four variables. So we can make a truth table um, let's say a truth table like this, where uh, where zero 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 will have an output x. X means don't care. Okay, don't care means we don't care if the output is zero or one. Uh, if it is zero or one, anything will be fine for us. This don't care, okay? Uh, then let's say for zero, 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 one, don't care. For zero, zero, one, zero, don't care. Let's say for zero, zero, one, one, zero. For zero, one, zero, zero, one. Okay, so uh, uh, similarly, uh, we can uh, make a truth table like this for 16 combinations. I have only uh, written eight combinations here. So just uh, this is just an example. So 
uh, you already have like let's say you have 16 combinations like so then we need to construct a kmap how can we construct a kmap we will make a grid like for a b c d four variables we will make a grid that has two variables on the row side and two variables on the column side so let's say a b uh, uh, are the two variables that will de determine which row the cell will be so if the value of a and b is 0 0 then it will be the first row if this is 0 1 it will be second 1 1 it is third 1 0 three. so just uh, have a look here uh, this is a bit different um, because after 0 1 we are not going to 1 0 we are going to 1 1 why because uh, from 0 1 uh, if we want to go to 1 0 we will need to change both of the bits we will need to change 0 to 1 and then 1 to 0 but if we want to go from 0 1 to 1 1 we will need to change only one bit the most significant bit okay this one will need to be changed so from 0 to 1 this is uh, important because we want to maintain adjacency um, for now you, uh, if you don't understand uh, why adjacency is needed that's fine enough um, there is no problem but make sure you construct the kmap like that like, like this so that from one row to the next or one column to the next only one bit changes so for from here you can see that for uh, two variables you start from zero zero to zero one and then go on to one one not one zero one one and then come back to one zero. do you have any questions here no sir okay so uh, after uh, we make uh, a grid like this uh, we have also um, done this in the column part let's say let's see in the cd uh, that we start from zero zero to zero one start from 00 to 01 to 11 to 10. Okay. So now we need to get the values from the truth table and plot them on the KNF. So let's see 0000. zero, zero, zero. Which cell is it? This one is actually this cell, right? Okay? Zero. So we put an X there uh, because uh, as you can see that from the truth table for 0000, zero, 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 we need to have an output X that is don't care. For 0001, zero, 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 we need to have an output X that's also don't care. For 0010, zero, 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 which is not here actually, this is here. So 0010, zero, 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 we also give an output is equals to X. And then 0011, zero, zero, one, one, we have Zero zero one one here. Okay, so let's look at this row zero zero one one. For zero zero one one input, we get an output zero. So we provide this here. So we need to construct the KMAP like this. We need to put all the values of A, B, C, D. Um, for all combinations of ABCD, uh, we need to find out which values we need, uh, which will be the output, and put those values in the uh, KMAP. Okay, so I'm gonna basically at a full uh, char, you uh, know, variables as char by char at a grid construct corpus, J grid there, row gula have also do it a variable they determined, and column gula are it a variable they determined. We wrote a zero zero even regular naming hobby zero 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 one one zero one one oh, sorry one 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 zero jodi do it a variable hai. our uh, column below a kirkum hobby naming for a hobby even for a good tamra truth table take a protector value protector uh, protector combination and journal protector combination of input and journal j output gula type we output gula ni came up perfectly so up until now any questions no sir okay. so after that when we have all of these values now we will be going to 
simplify those functions. So how can we simplify those functions? Let's check. So, uh, okay. So let's say we want to make sure that we simplify at the smallest possible uh, values. Okay. So we will be trying to take a block of ones as big as possible. Normally, I'm not at the continuous uh, adjacent one near to it at the block now just about one adjacent one when you pass a machine equal of one as you come jkane j block the size of a two air power so let's say we want to take a block size a uh, block uh, of any block that has all ones or don't cares in it money judy don't care like you look at the one to anybody or zero to anybody i'm not going to care for the but I'm going to borrow the first to borrow block me start from the first block should be the biggest size of two's power. So you can a mother you can say to check the variable as a total grid to show size. So ultimately, we will take a block of 16 at first. Try to take a block of 16. I'm going to emulate the 16 size of block. Not just a couple of data there. Pudo money. Great to keep covered for a jackin. I can't just go on as a shop like a cover project. If they can keep 16 size it's gonna block now because there are a lot of zeros in there. No, so I'm not to 16 size it's gonna block me the problem. So 16 size money can that don't put a great to cover. So we cannot take a 16 size block because there are zeros there. We will need to take a block that has only ones in there. Only one money. Zero factor should do one thing. So now 16 the camera that could watch 80. Can we take a block of blocks of block size of eight and no, sir. Okay, so can we take a block of four? Yes, sir. Where, sir, just zero 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 zero. I was zero 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 one when I first zero first one or four five. Uh, uh, first step. Uh, top, uh, we can take the top right, uh, top left corner. Okay, this one. Okay, so <coughs> this um, we can take this block and can we take another four size block? No, sir. Okay, I don't care. 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 I Yes, sir. Top right is shot. Hey, adjacent jagula as a which chapter bit near the zero zero one one than zero zero one zero. No, it is just zero as a zero to need to work. We will need only one thaka like the overlet for the part. So, char corner is chatter near Javana exactly. Char corner is chatter now. Char corner is chatter now. Javi because all four corners are actually adjacent. You have adjacent it to that. Why not say chart corner in chapter? I'm not the decky. Egg don't first corner type my top left corner jetta. Ita. Ita the ita actually fellow cotton zero 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 zero. Top right corner fellow cotton zero zero one zero zero one zero. Era vision adjacent map should act a bit changes in Icon. About they can top. Uh, sorry, bottom right corner. It's available. So, 1010. 1010. You know, do you know how to adjust it? You can also change it. Is it right? Therefore, finally, I'm not the bottom left corner. It's 1000. Which is also only one bit change. So, this these four are actually adjacent. Okay. Uh, the each chapter corner, they can chapter corner, do it out x, do it out one. So we can take this block of 
four. Okay, so we can take all this and Okay, so um, then we will move on to Amra Chatta Corner Nivo, therefore Amra Degboche. Can we take any more uh, block of force, block size of four? Arki Asakuno, block four echo. Eduita Bate. No, sir. Okay. So now we will move on to two block size of two. So let's we can take this one, then this one, then this one, and finally, ekono kinte ekta one amader cover hoy nai. Dekhen, jemon a one ta. Iti kinte ekono cover korte pai nai amra. Amader ki shobgulo one cover korte hobe. That's our goal. So, on the E one touch, you cover honey, shed a genome, the arcta block knowledge with this. So, these uh, we will need four blocks of um, two ones and two blocks of four ones. It also chapter on a chapter journal. So, this is it. A chapter of some of the total money. Okay, so I can another chart. Okay, so I'm a uh, block. Blah. Now we will need to write this, uh, those functions, uh, simplified functions. Okay, so how can we write this? I'm the proto me, jeta need to have it. Let's say I'm a eaten it is a chart size j block. That's it. So I'm a function to give a little function and look at you know, like a first week to the top is a B C D a value like to take a taka. So each chapter will wear mood hey chapter seller mood hey a value key change we say a value that can zero each you know zero yes subject beer value there's a value of B change this okay does the value of C change no, sir. No. D? Yes, sir. Okay. So we have two variables that doesn't change. Uh, that don't change actually A and C. And both of those are actually zeros. So we can write that as A prime or A bar C bar. Okay. This function can be written as A bar C bar because both of those are zeros. Then for this one. Which of the uh, three variables will be constant? So A, B, and uh, D. A, B, and D. So um, uh, A, A is actually zero. So A bar. A bar. B and is B. actually one. So B and D. D. Similarly, for this one. So here uh, B and C and D. C, uh, C bar and D. Then we move on to this one. And so A. A. B and changes. So B is not, is B will not be included. So C. C and D bar. C and D bar. And this one. So A and B. A, B bar. And C. And C. So finally, the uh, four corners. Uh, yeah. B. B, uh, B, bar. B bar. B bar. And uh, D. 
Sorry, D bar. That, that's also D bar. Okay, C changes, so only D bar. Yes. So these will be the ultimate simplification and simplified form of the function. Um, and uh, actually, if you write this in uh, this type of form, uh, there's no way possible to simplify uh, it in less number of terms. So this is the ultimate simplification. Okay. So, uh, uh, question is, can I show you the person? It to present to say, uh, Gula Q have a cooler and a break to Bulban. Simplify the money, a bar with a lixen. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Okay, so I'm at the person to the can I don't trust it. So, it can uh, a b c d character variable or one a value touch they can air value the chapter seller journey air will look into zero. I know it will change running so because air will look zero. She's a number a prime little. Are beer will look at change you say? Jesus, beer will change one. So it's a bath. Jigla change of your bath. Next, seer will look at the seer will look change your name. Change your name. It's a velocity. See bar money. Zero. Zero. Finally, dear will look at change. Jesus, so dear. It's on a price. But you like your comment. तो a bar, a or b, do it. I ask you to a zero is an a bar or b or key one is an issue to be bush. Is okay, right? The source is thank you. Okay, so uh, these are actually the basic operations of KMAPs and Amade Ikane Amra came a puller. I'm the I'm the KMAP kind of the bull of the shack. I'm the Kono it has to came a corner course on Amra Jokoni connector function simplify corner like we after the came up to. Use core like the height of many up in Chile, Java, which have a simplification for the one, but uh, usually came up is the best way to quickly simplify the things. Yeah. So, if you still have questions, uh, uh, just go through the Morris Mano book, or uh, you can watch some videos in the YouTube, just brush up these topics and practice a bit more so that. Uh, আমরা যখন কেএমএম যখন পড়ব মানে কেএমএম তো পড়ব না মানে আমরা যখন অন্য কোন ফাংশন যখন সিম্পলিফাই করব উই ক্যান কুইকলি গো থ্রু দিস স্টেপস উই ডোন্ট জাস্ট গেট স্টাক হোয়াই দিস উইল বি এ প্রাইম হোয়াই দিস উইল বি পি প্রাইম ওকে সো উই ওয়ান্ট টু মুভ কুইকলি ইন দিস পার্ট এন্ড উই ওয়ান্ট টু ফোকাস মোর অন হাউ এল ইউ ওয়ার্কস অর হাউ অ্যাকুমুলেটেড ওয়ার্কস ওকে So uh, these are basic KMAPs, and now we will need to discuss a bit more about flip-flops. Uh, because we will need to understand flip-flops uh, for the later part of the course, especially in accumulator and control logic. Uh, we will need to understand how flip-flop occurs, uh, flip-flop works, and also uh, how we can use these flip-flops to get our desired results. Okay, the first part is the deep flip flop. Hopefully, show my deep flip flop uh, basic ideas. So, what is it? Uh, okay, first things, what is flip flop? Can anyone tell me what a flip flop does? And flip flops outputs are provided, and would you uh, find out the input specific? No, input output provide correct to flip flop actually cuts. No, basic thing is actually a flip flop. 
data store kore so i got a memory uh, uh, this actually exactly the work flip flop does uh, the basic work flip flop does actually is to store one bit of memory okay uh, yes. it can store zero or one uh, and the value changes only and only if uh, clock edges arrive clock edges means positive or negative clock edges it depends on the flip flop okay from let's say a clock is like this so uh, when uh, the clock uh, goes from 0 to 1 let's say this one we say this is a positive edge and when it goes from 1 to 0 like in this one we say this is a uh, negative. negative edge so a flip flop only changes its value when a positive edge uh, if it is a positive edge flip flop then if it changes the value only if positive a positive edge occurs or uh, if it is a negative edge flip flop then it changes only if a negative edge occurs otherwise the values will always uh, remain in the flip flop so the value will be uh, in a way the value will be stored so one bit of memory but the memory the value of the memory can be changed in a positive or negative edge uh, of the clock so for example, in deep flip-flop, let's uh, say this is a deep flip-flop. Deep flip-flop is one input, one output device. Uh, actually two inputs, but one is actually the clock. Uh, so it's just simple, uh, basically. So the other input, that is the D. what this uh, d flip flop does is actually pass the value of d from uh, from the input to the output q so when a positive let's say if you provide zero in the input and the positive let's say this is a positive edge flip flop so a positive edge occurs and the value will be passed to q okay so uh, let's say we have a value of zero and a positive edge occurs like this one okay a positive edge occurs and the value will be uh, zero will be stored throughout so a jagat theke a positive edge porjonto guaranteed bhabe zero thak because uh, the value doesn't change up until another positive edge uh, occurs okay so let's say Amra next positive edge er age age amar d er value ta ke change kore 1 kore dilam so the um, output will turn from 0 to 1 exactly when a positive edge occurs so ei jagatte amader value ta 1 hoye jabe next positive edge er age ami jodi value ta change o kore di the output will not change. Okay? clock is one. clock is one. clock is one. The clock is one. The clock is clock clock is one. The clock is one. The clock clock is one. The 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 it act a positive edge. It act a positive edge. Clock ta jokhon clock ta to mani oscillate korte sese zero thi ke one thi ke. Bar bar mani kichhon zero thakte sese abar one hote sese abar zero thakte sese abar one hote sese. Jokhon ishe zero thi ke one hai. In that moment, D L value jaya thakbe, oi value ta Q te pass hoye jabe. Ar kisun? Okay. Mustafa sir. Ji sir. Okay, so uh, this is the basic operation of D flip flop. Now we want to write uh, a, an excitation table. Excitation table, please. So let's say we have an excitation table here. Excitation table is basically if you have one value in the queue and you want another value in the next time step, next clock cycle, what will you need to provide as the input? When I'm 
যদি আমাদের কিউতে এখন কোন একটা ভ্যালু আছে আমরা নেক্সট পজিটিভ ক্লক এজের পরে কিউতে অন্য আরেকটা ভ্যালু দেখতে চাই বা এই ভ্যালুটাই দেখতে চাই তো সেটার জন্য আমাদেরকে ডি তে কি ইনপুট দেওয়া লাগবে সেটাই হচ্ছে আমাদের এক্সাইটেশন টেবল আমাদের মানে আমরা পরের ক্লক সাইকেলও আমরা কিউ টি প্লাস ওয়ান কি জিরোই দেখতে চাই এখনো জিরো আছে আমরা পরের ক্লক সাইকেলও জিরো দেখতে চাই সেটার জন্য আমাদেরকে ডি তে কি ইনপুট দেওয়া লাগবে জিরো দেওয়া লাগবে বিকজ ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু হ্যাভ এনি ভ্যালু অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইন দ্য নেক্সট ক্লক সাইকেল ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু ইউ উইল নিড টু প্রোভাইড এক্সাক্টলি দ্যাট ভ্যালু ইন দ্য ডি because this is a deep flip flop whatever you give in uh, whatever value you provide in d that will be transferred to q so uh, just look at the excitation table ekhane amader jodi second column ta that is q n plus 1 er column ta ar d column ta dekhen tahole bujhte parbe those two columns are actually identical exactly the same because uh, আমরা ডি তে আমরা কিউ তে যেটা দেখতে চাই মানে ভবিষ্যতে যেটা দেখতে চাই কিউ টি প্লাস ওয়ান কিউ এন প্লাস ওয়ান মানে নেক্সট স্টেপে আমরা যেটা দেখতে চাই এক্সাক্টলি সেই ভ্যালুটাই আমাদেরকে ডি তে ইনপুট দেওয়া হবে আদারওয়াইজ আমি এটাকে আউটপুট সে পাবো না কখন এটা নিয়ে কোনো কনফিউশন আছে আচ্ছা মানে ডি ফ্লি ফ্লপে হোয়াট এভার উই প্রোভাইড এজ ইনপুট গোস টু দা আউটপুট ওকে এটা বুঝছেন তো তো আমরা যদি কিউ কিউ এন মানে হচ্ছে এনতম স্টেপে এখনকার অবস্থায় লেটসে এখনকার অবস্থায় কিউ এন এর যে কোনো একটা ভ্যালু আছে হোয়াট এভার ভ্যালু দেখতে কিউ এন প্লাস ওয়ানে আমি আরেকটা ভ্যালু দেখতে চাই বা এই ভ্যালুটাই দেখতে চাই হ্যাঁ কিউ এন প্লাস ওয়ান মানে হচ্ছে নেক্সট স্টেপে নেক্সট পজিটিভ ক্লক সাইকেলে আমি অন্য আরেকটা ভ্যালু দেখতে চাই অথবা ওই ভ্যালুটাই দেখতে চাই যেটাই হোক মানে আমি একটা ভ্যালু দেখতে চাই যে ভ্যালুটা আমি দেখতে চাই এক্সাক্টলি সেই ভ্যালুটাই আমি ডি তে ইনপুট দেওয়া উচিত না আমি যদি সেই ভ্যালুটা ডি তে ইনপুট দিই তাহলে পরের ক্লক সাইকেলে এটা সেটা চেঞ্জ হয়ে ডি এর ভ্যালুটা কিউতে চলে যাবে সো দ্যাটস ওয়াই কিউ এন প্লাস ওয়ান আর ডি এক্সাক্টলি দ্য সেম বিকজ হোয়াট এভার উই ওয়ান কিউ এন প্লাস ওয়ান টু বি দ্যাট উই দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট উই নিড টু প্রোভাইড এস ডি আমরা কিউ এন প্লাস ওয়ানে যেটাই দেখতে চাই সেটাই ডি তে আমরা প্রোভাইড করবো দেন এভরিথিং ওয়াল বি ফাইন এখন কি বুঝতে পারছেন কোনো ইস্যু আছে ফরমিং performing operations on the stored value as well. So, JK flip flop the amra shudhu je value store korte pari ta na, amra oi value tar upor kono ekta operation perform korte pari. Kichu operation ki. For example, uh, look at the table in the top right corner. Uh, <coughs> this one. Uh, so, J for uh, JK flip flop e আমাদের দুইটা ইনপুট থাকে সো দ্যাট ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি জে এন কে ক্লক ইজ অলসো অফ কোর্স দেয়ার বাট ক্লক তো ক্লক সো বেসড অন জে এন কে দ্য ভ্যালু অফ কিউ ক্যান বি চেঞ্জড ওকে দ্য আউটপুট ভ্যালু অফ কিউ ক্যান বি চেঞ্জড বেসড অন জে এন কে সো হোয়াট হ্যাপেন্স ইজ ইফ উই প্রোভাইড জে ইকুয়ালস টু জিরো এন্ড কে ইকুয়ালস টু জিরো দেন the value of q will not change that means uh, the, uh, if the q was zero in the previous state q will be zero in the next state if the q if q was one in the previous state q will be one in the next state that means if j and k is zero zero no change occurs 
if j equals to 0 and k equals to 1, look at the next uh, row of the table. If j equals to 0 and k equals to 1, then a reset operation occurs. What is a reset operation? Reset operation is uh, just simply resetting the value of q. That is, the value of q will be forced to 0. Okay. So if we provide j equals to 0 and k equals to 1, q will be 0. Whatever the value of q was in the previous step, it doesn't really matter. It will be turned to 0 when we provide j equals to 0 and k equals to 1. OK? The booster person, show me. G, sir. OK, fine. Next step is j equals to 1 and k equals to 0. So this will set the value of q. That means if the value of q was whatever it was in the previous state, it doesn't matter. It will be set to 1. That set means uh, the value will turn to 1. Reset means the value will turn to 0. So uh, whenever j equals to 1 and k equals to 0, uh, q will be 1. Whatever the input was, or sorry, whatever the value of q was in the previous state. Okay. Finally, if j equals to 1 and k equals to 1, we will complement the value of q. That is, what the uh, the value of q, if it was 0 in the previous step, it will be 1 in the next step. If it was 1 in the previous step, it will be 0 in the next step. Therefore, I'm going to simply complement if j equals to 1 and k equals to 1. So these are actually the basic um, JK flip-flops operations. Uh, a operation kula apna theke, I don't easily otherwise uh, it will be a bit difficult to perform other things so each e operation I can amra ekhon theke excitation table banate chaichi excitation table to age theke bujhte parchen je ki jinish excitation table hocche amra let's say amader qn e mane n tomo step e amader q er value ta ache hocche 0 first step to dekh Let's say we have a value 0 and we want the value to remain 0. That means we want to go from 0 to 0. Our step is QR man 0. So we have step is QR man 0. Our next step is QR man 0. So how can we achieve this? J and K take a value delay. We have to achieve this. So just let's have a look. J is the amra 0 0 di, J is 0 k is the 0 di, tale no change occurs. Akon age q air value to 0 chilo. So amra judi no change kori, tale q air value to still 0 thakbana? G sir. G sir. So eta amra option of the paratina, amra 0 0 di, tale amra result to page. Otherwise, amra arrecta kas kut the body. Amra reset kore the body. Reset kore the loto. Q n plus 1 will to 0. Still, so reset for you now, j equals to 0, k equals to 1. So j equals to 0, k equals to 1. Q n value 0. That will also help our cause. Okay. So, now we can take the answer. I'm going to j is 0, k is 0. D. Tahole, I'm Q n plus 1 is 0. Pabo. Othoba, evoke money Q n is 0. Thak to thak to thak. Are Ottawa, Judy J is zero K the one D, Tahulu Q and plus one is zero. When I want the Jacon actor called Leashula Hutsi. You can boost us in Shomai. It took a junto. Any good confession to Kibutu? Mr. Versus. Judy, it was the one, Tahole, just have a look at K, K, the value of K. The value of K is actually changing. That means actually, whatever the value of K is. If j is equals to 0, then we achieve our result. Termini, if j is equals to 0 and k, we don't care what the value of k is. If whatever the value of k is, if j is equals to 0, then uh, and qn is equals to 0, then qn plus 1 will be 0. Mustafarsan, ja amra, jodi qn plus qn is 0 thake, abong ami 0 thake 0 thake 0 thake Simple work, ami 0 thake 0 thake 0 thake we can achieve this in two ways. One is to make sure no changes occurs. So no changes occur means actually is to provide zero one zero zero in the JK. Or otherwise, uh, 
uh, we can reset the value that is zero one uh, in the JK. So from these two options, we can see that if we provide j equals to zero, whatever the value of k is, we achieve our result. Similarly, if uh, we want to make sure that we go from zero to one, how can we achieve this? How can we make sure we go from zero to one? One once re reset kore dibo. Reset reset kore dile to reset kore jabe. I mean zero jabe. Set kore dibo. Set kore dibo. Set kore dibo. Othoba arikta kaj kore dibo. Zero zero rakbo. Na zero zero rakle to aage jeta chilo oiti roje jabe. I mean zero theke zero roje jabe. Oh sorry sir sorry. Compliment 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 kore dibo. Exactly. So thayle amra either mani. सेट करें इधर पड़ी और उसमें कॉम्प्लीमेंट करते पड़ी तो देखें तो वो सेट का कॉम्प्लीमेंट दूसरा जो है ना केयर वैल्यू टा आमदरी ये क्या ना डोंट केयर आमदरी अशुले जेयर वैल्यू तो जो दिया अपना वन दी ताहोले काज हुए जबे तार मनी वन डोंट केयर जो दिया हमला जेय के तीन पुट दी ताहोले हमल फाइनलिंग नो चेंज ही रखते पड़े अथवा सिट करें जब पड़े, सो फॉर दैट फॉर दिस टू वी विल नीड टू प्रोवाइड जे इक्वल्स टू डोंट केयर एंड के इक्वल्स टू जीरो, सो ये होता है वो द एक्सेटेशन टेबल ऑफ जे के फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड आई होप शवाई इट बुस्ते वर्षन एवं इट एम मोटा मोटी काइंड ऑफ मेमोरीज करें फल बिल जनो अपाल तो ना एल यू तक लाग बनाए था। We will need this one in accumulator and later parts. So and मतलब आमदर इतने खूब quickly करा लग गए। इतना जनो आमने खूब quickly करे फलते पड़े। जे जे Q zero थे के zero थे चार जनो आमने key बोशा बो J K थे। So so that we can do that very quickly. Okay, any questions out there? Flip flops, I want flip flops. Okay, so hopefully, shop के साथ हम प्रोजेक्ट तो बस तबर से नहीं हम finally हम ना एडर शॉप पर की टू कहीं देख बो आम ना एडर राशि लास के देख बो ना mostly we will discuss this about full adders and other things in the next class when we start LU but for now let's say just to review the circuit of the full adder what is a full adder full adder is actually we are adding three bits. Let's say we have A and B, two bits. And also, we want to add the carry from the previous bit or something like that. So we want to add three bits, A, B, and C. This is actually a full adder. Now, how can we achieve this? So for adding, we know that we need to just XOR them. Well, A, XOR, B, XOR, C. And to find out the carry out, what will be the carry out in the next step? We only need to just add uh, end them like this: a x or b c in plus a b or a b. Okay. Uh, so these are actually the two equations that. Uh, makes uh, this full letter circuit um, very simple equations but we can achieve wonders actually from this um, this is actually amazing that we can just go from a x or b x or c uh, to make a full fledged alu and you can understand that an alu is the very basic part of a computer so if you can make an alu and just 
uh, add some other components there you can just make sure you have designed a full fledged processor but the alu part that can perform arithmetic and logical operations can be done from only these equations a xor b xor c and we will be just modifying those a and b's so that we can perform uh, these arithmetic and logical operations this is very interesting we'll move on to this in the next uh, from the next class on uh, and uh, and this we will discuss about these uh, equations a lot more in detail but for now just uh, get the basic idea that we can add three bits by xoring them and we will we can get the c out the carry of these three bits uh, if uh, the, for, of the addition of these three bits uh, with this equation a x or b and c in or a or a and b okay so do you have any questions about this one no sir Okay, so uh, we will move on to ALU in the next class, uh, um, and we conclude here uh, for now. I will provide this slide and uh, exam syllabus, uh, sorry, uh, course syllabus in the uh, LMS, and also the lecture videos will be available. Uh, I will provide a Google Drive link, and you can just uh, download or view the videos so and um, uh, if you have any sort of academic questions or anything just uh, give me an email and uh, if uh, we you know if you need we can actually make sure that we have a counseling hour as well uh, if you need uh, maybe i hope that uh, in the first couple of weeks there will not be uh, very much we will not really go into much details so everything will not be that difficult but afterwards if you need any counseling hour or so just email me or uh, just uh, email me the question that you are really struggling with uh, i hope i can help okay and uh, those of you who have not registered or, or but we are willing to register in the future please uh, email me for invitation i will provide the invitation or i think i can open a doc file um so i can also not share that huh? uh, okay uh, just email me for the uh, invitation okay